Following the events of late 2008, which resulted in a global economic downturn, Poland has proven to be one of the most resilient markets in Europe and shows promising signs for continued growth. I'm here with Richard Peterson, Managing Director of Cushman & Wakefield's Water Office, who's here to give us some insight into this. Richard, what do you feel are the key reasons behind the strong performance of the Polish economy over the last 18 months, when many of the world's economies have contracted? I think there's a number of reasons for that. First of all, the economy is uh, quite a large scale in the context of the new Europe countries which joined the EU five or six years ago. Secondly, the economy is quite well diversified with services and financial services sector as well as quite a good industrial base. Thirdly, the banking sector is quite strong and post-financial crisis this actually held up quite well and uh, was one of the stronger banking areas within Europe. And in recent months there has been renewed investor interest in Poland, which has been illustrated by a number of key transactions on the commercial real estate market. What do you feel are the reasons for this renewed interest and do you believe it is set to continue over the course of this year? I think the main reason for this is that the occupational markets throughout 2009 have remained quite strong in Poland in all sectors, office, retail and logistics. And secondly, the pricing is actually quite attractive now compared to other European markets and we think a combination of these factors makes it uh, quite an interesting market for investment uh, through 2010. So where do you feel are the key opportunities in the Polish real estate market and which sectors should investors focus on? Well, the first sector, and perhaps the most interesting, is the office market. At the moment we have a vacancy rate in Warsaw, not very much in the provincial cities. I think that uh, that vacancy rate will be reduced significantly during this year and by next year we'll actually have a shortage in some sectors of the market. So I think office both in Warsaw and in some provincial cities will be very interesting as the occupational market picks up. Secondly, the retail market uh, is also interesting but in specific sectors, specifically city centre projects and also older shopping centres which can be repositioned or refurbished for uh, uh, somewhere else on the market. And of course the question that everyone is asking, do we feel there will be further yield compression over the course of this year? Well, I think the yield compression has already taken place in many markets in Western Europe. There has been some movement on yields here during quarter four of 2009 and I think we're going to see further compression as we move through 2010. But I don't think it will apply to all categories of asset in the market. I think it will apply primarily to the prime quality uh, assets and where there's some upside in terms of uh, rental growth, which I've already mentioned. Thanks very much for that insight into what looks like a very dynamic market. Thank you.